Our journey through Lent thus far has taken us first to look at God's call to us, a call to radical obedience. When we talked about that, we recognized that most of us sort of hedge our bets on terms of that, that call. We either ignore it completely or we only pay sort of passing attention to it. We then last week turned our attention to the fact and the ways in which we miss the mark. We miss the mark and sin because we choose to do those things which we know we shouldn't do or we don't do those things which we know that we should do. But I pointed out or suggested at least that that was not the worst of our sins. I believe that the worst of our sins is sort of when we slide into that oblivion, that is, we slide into a way of behaving that is antithetical to what our Lord has called us to. And suddenly we find ourselves there and we wonder how we got there. Regardless, the question is, or the statement really is, we do live in darkness. And you and I recognize that. And the question for us is, what do we do about that? For as Paul writes, there really is no help in us. But in this midpoint of Lent, we pause on what has become known as Refreshment Sunday to reflect on God's grace. No, there is no help in us. You and I can try and blame others for our dilemma, or we can say it's circumstances or whatever. But as Cassius said to Brutus, the fault is not in our stars, but in ourselves. It is you and I who get ourselves in the difficulty. And thanks be to God, the only thing that gets us out of that difficulty is God's grace. It's not because we earn it. It's not because we merit it. It's simply because God loves us so much. And that's the reason for our joy on this Refreshment Sunday. Recall the words of John. God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to redeem the world. You know, I really relate to Nicodemus. Nicodemus was, for all intents and purposes, what most people would think a good man, a religious man. A man who spent a lot of time at the temple and trying to keep God's law. And Nicodemus had seen in Jesus and heard in Jesus' words something that rang true. He knew that there was something about this man that he needed to listen to. But like you and I, he was a little bit unsure. How was Jesus going to receive him? So he goes to Jesus at night, in the darkness, unsure of himself, unsure of how Jesus will respond to him. And we know how Jesus does. He reaches out his loving arms and said, Come here, Nicodemus. All you must do is accept my grace. Accept my forgiveness. But Nicodemus couldn't quite bring himself to do it in that encounter. He turned and walked away. And I think that's what you and I so often do. We cannot believe in our hearts because we know our hearts that Jesus loves us that much. And yet that is the promise. 
And the good news is that Nicodemus did get the message. Recall, he is at the foot of the cross. He is one who goes to claim Jesus' body. Nicodemus got the message. I pray that you and I get the message on this refreshment Sunday. That despite our sin, despite how bad we really are, God loves us completely and unconditionally. And it isn't a one-time thing. God just doesn't say, well, you've done this so many times, I can't, I can't do it again. God always has his arms open, saying, come, take this gift that I freely give you, my grace, my forgiveness, my love. Amen. Amen.